Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy Landry. I'm the artist and public relations manager for Cakewalk. I'm on location here today in Anaheim, California at the 2013 NAMM convention. I want to welcome all the audio fanzine readers uh, and I want to show you a couple things that we have going on here at the show. So right here is the brand new announced today actually. So audio fanzine is uh, the first one to put this out there which we appreciate. It's the CA2A. It is a leveling, uh, a leveling amplifier and a compressor. So if you look closely at this, you'll see, you probably recognize it if you've been into any of the big studios uh, around the world, really. This is a very famous compressor and leveling amplifier. It's been used on countless records, and our developers have uh, meticulously, meticulously uh, gone above and beyond to make sure that our modeling technology is very faithful to the, to the true um, studio unit. So real quickly here, I know we don't have a lot of time, but uh, it's a simple unit, it works great on, uh, especially on vocals, but it works great as well on uh, acoustic guitars and arpeggiated guitars, keyboards I use it on as well for mixing, it's a great unit. You've got uh, your peak reduction here, uh, gain, and you also have an R37, which is a frequency dependent compressor. So a lot of uh, engineers use that, it's kind of a, a secret trick for engineers so that they don't have to use a de-esser as much. It, actually compresses at different frequencies. Uh, it's also, you've got your limiting here, uh, and you've got your compressor. Real simple, on and off. And the other cool thing about this is that you have um, a side chaining capability as well, so that's different from uh, any of the other uh, similar type products that are out there with this, um, with this unit. Uh, another thing to mention is that it's actually a VST and audio units as well, so it will work uh, with any DAW that is, uh, can host VST3, uh, VST, VST3, and uh, audio units. So it's pretty cool. Also, let me just show you that you probably noticed that I just touched the screen here. Uh, this is actually uh, Sonar X2A that I'm on right now, and uh, we're on Windows 8, so we are now uh, the first to market to actually start incorporating touch capabilities with music production, which we're pretty psyched about. So if you see here, I'm just going to close that out here. I'll pull this down a little bit and just give you a little bit of a preview of uh, what you can do here. Now, I want to let everyone know that this is not a mouse replacement, so I'm not, when I mix, I have a lot of tracks going on. I think this one has probably about 50 tracks and 30 buses that I mix this song on, so it's not like I'm up here mixing with both hands, but what I like to do is, you can see I'm using uh, different touch capabilities here, but I also use the mouse quite a bit as well. So it's almost like a mouse enhancement, I guess would, you would call it. So if you want to scroll over like this, and what happens is the more you use it, your brain really starts to become acclimated to, the, to, to where the spots are where you, you know, touch. And it's almost like a, a, separate, uh, a separate mouse that you're using. So it's pretty cool you, once you get used to it. So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to thank everyone for, uh, for watching and hope to see you soon. Please check out cakewalk.com for more information on both these. Take care.